Welcome to Down to Business. I'm your host, Josh Dirks, and today I have the privilege of speaking with Mike Homechick of Crocodile Rocks. Now, Mike, tell us a little bit about your products. Well, uh, we have uh, natural uh, stone slabs um, that are used for a variety of, um, of purposes, uh, countertops, floors, fireplaces, um, and we don't have any, any uh, man-made materials. It's all completely natural, uh, which is pretty green. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so I go to the quarries and um, select the blocks and then we have them cut into the various thicknesses uh, and polished or honed or brushed whatever uh, the surface uh, that I specify. And then we bring them to, uh, usually it's from overseas, but sometimes from the United States okay. um, and Canada. And uh, We have them shipped here and then we, um, we have them in stock in our warehouse. Excellent. So, kind of sounds like you're going to a lot of different quarries all around the world, yeah. even. What's kind of like one of your favorite adventures? I mean, that's got to be pretty amazing to be at that level, seeing that type of very grassroots thing happening around the world. I, I think my favorite is Carrera. Um, it's um, they've been quarrying there for over two thousand years, um, yeah. continuously, and um, they're pretty much the mecca of stone in the world. So they bring in blocks from all over the world and and you can you can select almost everything right right there so tell me a little bit about your name I think that when you talk about slabs and different pieces mm -hmm. of stone crocodile rocks tell us about how you came to your name and the branding it's <laughs> it's a long story <laughs> <laughs> that might be a better story for a different time <laughs> okay <laughs> we'll leave it at that then um, so how'd you get in the business like what what fascinated you about it you mentioned the green angle on things mm -hmm. like what what kind of got you into the business what got you started well, um, I started in when I was 17, actually, and um, uh, the very first day, the guy that I was learning from uh, was building an arch, and I just thought that was the coolest thing. I mean, you know, you could build it o an arch, take the form out, and it stands up by itself. And so I just really pretty much decided then and there that I wanted to be in that kind of business. And so I, I just worked for him, learned it, and then... I've been in my, in my own business since 1978. Congratulations! That's a that's a long time to be doing a lot of this stuff. What's some of the favorite projects did you work on throughout throughout those years? Well, we worked on one. We worked on a house uh, for seven years. Oh wow! That was unbelievably amazing. I bet. Yeah, and just the master bath. We we had over 5,000 man hours. <laughs> that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bathroom, all right. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit, you alluded to the green angle of things. Tell me mm -hmm. about how that's kind of changed your business, what new products have been introduced, kind of mm -hmm. some of the new new trends in that area. Well, th the thing about stone is, uh, first of all, um, it's, it's completely natural and it's being renewed daily. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time, but it's, but it's being renewed. Um, and also, um, all you have to do is cut it out of the ground and, and polish or hone it, and it's, it's ready for use. And it can be reused, in, in uh, you know, continuously. I mean, it, it's, in fact, um, the floors at Crocodile Rocks are all recycled uh, material. Yep. Um, and so it, it's, it doesn't require, you know, any kind of energy to, you know, to make up the the components of it and mix it up like a lot of the competing products are nowadays. Um, so, yeah, it's a it's a real real good product for that. What is maybe a product that's been introduced in the last, you know, s several years that you feel like is kind of undervalued, not many people know about it, that you like more people to know about? Well, I think probably soapstone. Okay. Um, soapstone is, uh, it's, it's a material that is formed way deep in the earth and um, is really old. Um, in fact, just to kind of give you an idea how old it is, um, NASA spent, uh, sent a um, probe up to see what, what was in a comet, and they flew it through the tail of a comet and uh, caught the dust in the, that aerogel, mm -hmm. and it was um, it was olivine, which is what uh, soapstone is made out of. So, it's it's super durable, super old. Um, you can put a cutting torch right on it; it'll take five thousand degrees. Um, it's and also the surface of it is uh, it's a real honest material. It's not it's not polished. It's more like a, a kind of like leather, the way it it takes on a patina 
Huh. Uh, so anyway, I think that that's, um, and it's got a lot of properties, like we're building a soapstone uh, wood-fired pizza oven right now out of the remnants of it. Wow. So, so you guys do a lot of different things. I mean, you're doing everything from bathrooms to kitchens, outdoor stuff. I mean, what's kind of the scope and range of Crocodile Rocks' services? Well, Crocodile Rocks really is is part of my business. It's it's the supply end. Okay. And um, we, we stock uh, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, and even up to eight inch thick of uh, Italian marble um, in slab form. Um, and then, so that's the supply side. The other side is our fabrication company. And um, there we, we make basically anything out of stone. Um, right now, you know, some of our main projects are big super yachts. Okay. Um, so we're working on right now a 112 foot and also 164 foot. Wow, that's yeah. a big yacht. Yeah. Um, so, kind of in closing, what's like? What's one of your favorite things about this? I mean, it sounds like you like working with your hands, designing things, seeing things come to fruition. Mm -hmm. Anything else about this business, or do you just really capture your heart early on? Well, it, it really, what's what's cool about it is I always loved history. So there's history. I liked science, uh, geolo geology, uh, geography. Uh, it pretty much has all of that in there, and and as well as art, because uh, what you can make out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, great. Thanks for telling us a little bit about your business. When we come back on Down to Business, we're going to actually go through with Mike how he's got Crocodile Rocks out there in the marketing world. Stick with us through the break.